Mr. Christopher Birchfield um, from Hotchkiss Portals American Literature and Theater, and we're going to hear about everything he knows and wants to share with our prospective families about the portal. I teach in the uh, American Literature portion of the American Literature and Theater Portal, and we are um, interested in exposing students to a classroom that is unlike, <coughs> excuse me, unlike a classroom that they are familiar with at home. Our classrooms here are designed to be discussion based, to run almost entirely on conversation. We try to teach the Socratic method of learning where students are learning as much from each other as they are from the teacher. So they do have to come with a uh, basic understanding of English. Their fluency doesn't need to be perfect or even necessarily excellent, but it needs to be good enough so that they can participate in discussion around a table um, and answer questions, ask each other questions, be ready to answer questions that other students have of them and to um, express themselves uh, as completely and thoroughly as they can. Okay. There is some question as to why this is open only to international students, mainly Asian students. Um, is there a reason for that? <laughs> um, most students in high schools in the United States are receiving an education in some fashion like this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's our belief that there are fewer students of international schools who um, have the opportunity to learn in this way. And if students who come to the portal have um, ambition or goals to attend uh, college university in the United States, yes. mm -hmm. it's very good for them to have had this exposure before mm -hmm. they do that. Okay. And um, my understanding is that the reading um, in the classroom is the Great Gatsby. Correct. Um, is there a reason for Great Gatsby? There are a great um, American literature out there, but why Fitzgerald and why Gatsby? We chose mm -hmm. the Great Gatsby uh, because we're mm -hmm. concentrating on just one decade mm -hmm. of American culture and history, which is the 1920s. Because the students are here just three weeks, um, we believe that it's um, more productive mm -hmm. to concentrate on a, a single decade uh, rather than try to cover too much. Mm -hmm. So uh, The Great Gatsby is the signature novel of the decade, so we use that as um, our chief uh, literary uh, source, but it leads to discussions uh, about culture, mm -hmm. about society, um, about American politics in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. What would you say, or did you find that's most challenging for the students at the portal, at this portal? Yes, um, I think the most challenging aspect of our program is the learning to be confident mm -hmm. enough to speak up, learning to be confident enough to defend one's opinions and challenges in a second language. Mm -hmm. And when your language skills are limited, that becomes even more difficult. Mm -hmm. But they're here long enough that by the end of the three weeks we see some quite um, um, remarkable changes yes. in the mm -hmm. students abilities to feel comfortable around a table and uh, speak to each other in a language not their own. Mm -hmm. Now um, some questions that I encounter just by talking to some of the students at the portal is um, questions and, and comments, I guess is the right uh, mm -hmm. way to put it, is that they're doing non-Gatsby activities, <laughs> like the visit to the farm, mm -hmm. um, the trip to Yale University. Is there a connection? To um, mm -hmm. Those other experiences mm -hmm. outside the classroom, we feel just enrich their time here. Mm -hmm. Uh, since we are a rural location, mm -hmm. uh, to spend every single day in the same uh, classroom mm -hmm. is a little bit monotonous. Mm -hmm. So we think it's important that we take them different places um, 
to expand the experience beyond just learning about the literature. Mm -hmm. But, you know, seeing a few colleges mm -hmm. and seeing the different locations around uh, Lakeville here mm -hmm. and a uh, trip to New York City to see a show is uh, just, a, it broadens mm -hmm. their opportunities while they're here, that's all. Okay. And for the prospective families in the future who are considering, is there or are there any ways that, or things that they should do to prepare for the portal? A read. <laughs> read. <laughs> read. Read. In English. In English. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. try to uh, maximize their mm -hmm. learning in the English classes they're taking at school. Mm -hmm. um, to speak as much as they can in, in English, even when they're home with their mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. uh, and maybe their parents. Um, but uh, yeah, that's probably the best thing they can do. Okay. And if you can pick one or a couple um, to say oh, at the end of the portal I want all my students to take home this what would that be confidence 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 mm -hmm. in in their mm -hmm. spoken mm -hmm. and and written language mm -hmm. skills um, and their um, I want them to go home knowing that their uh, their English proficiency has improved okay mm -hmm. one last question is um, is a portal class very much different from the English class that you teach at Hoshkis during the regular academic mm -hmm. year? The manner mm -hmm. um, in which we teach in that yes. class mm -hmm. is, is very much the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions, answers, discussion, very little lecture. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's, the, it's identical in the expectation that you've read the assignment mm -hmm. and you come to class ready to participate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And everyone does. Mm -hmm. um, no one gets through a class at Hotchkiss or very, very rarely mm -hmm. without contributing something. Mm -hmm. And we try to achieve that same expectation with mm -hmm. the students in portals. Okay. And this is just my uh, question to the side, but some families, mm -hmm. um, and when I say families, I'm including students as well as the parents. Um, say that um, you know they come here to learn so and it goes back to the fact that they're not comfortable or used to or have been exposed to the learning from the peers or learning from mm -hmm. discussion based classroom that they're they had really expected the teacher to tell uh, to mm -hmm. teach them something um, and so there are some confusions uh, and it's not wrong to say that some students actually feel that they are not taking home as much mm -hmm. if, um, because they're learning from their peers not, and not from the teacher. Mm -hmm. um, can you help them understand that this is not wrong? <laughs> <coughs> we, are, we are teaching mm -hmm. them, we are teaching them things yes. beyond um, the skills mm -hmm. required mm -hmm. to be a functioning part of a discussion-based mm -hmm. classroom. Um, we have a lecture on prohibition. Mm -hmm. We have a lecture on organized crime. We have uh, some discussions based on um, uh, the d development of jazz music mm -hmm. and cultural norms of the time. So they're, they're learning those things. Um, but I, I, I would answer that in that in the long run, uh, it's more important for them to take home the skills of being a contributing member of a discussion-based classroom mm -hmm. than any fact mm -hmm. that they might learn about the 1920s. They can learn those things in a book. Right. Mm -hmm. They can learn those things at home. Mm -hmm. What they can't learn at home is how to engage mm -hmm. in a classroom of this type. And that's why it's more important that we figure that they, they learn that than they learn the dates and the names and the history. They, mm -hmm. they can learn that anywhere but they can only learn mm -hmm. the skills of conversational to classroom by being here. Okay, mm. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything that I haven't uh, asked that you might want to share, inform? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I think oh. we covered it. Oh, okay. And how long have you been at Hotchkiss? I've been at Hotchkiss 25 years, oh. and I've worked in the portal for five summers. Five summers. Yes. Um, isn't that the history of? Correct. So you've been here since the beginning. Yes. Twenty-five years, and before you were at 
Salisbury and Eagle Brook. Correct. Two other yeah. schools mm. prior to coming to Hodgkins. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, career. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.